paramedic rehab and I'm talking to clinical director Mania. It's always a pleasure to meet you. Hi Mania. Hi Sunil, how are you? So every time I come here I learn something new about rehab. Yes. And what we do here at Therapeutic Rehab, we've got three locations. One in one, this beautiful location in Kirkwood in 59 that I love so much. Mm -hmm. And then the KT one. KT and Spring. How are they different? Uh, they're not different. I mean, it's under the same banner, uh, same quality, same services. The only difference is Stafford offers a uh, And uh, we, we don't have that in KT and uh, Spring. All the other services we offer here. Yeah. Okay, very good. You were talking about uh, dry needling. It's a yeah. new, something new technology in PT. Is it a new technology? Is it a new therapy? Is it uh, some something breakthrough? It's a breakthrough. There has been a lot of research on dry needling and its effects. So it's a kind of uh, amalgamation of manual therapy and acupuncture. But it is different because acupuncture, you use very small needles for some physiological purpose, blood pressure, pain. But dry needling is very effective because I can reach the area of pain. So I can reach the deep muscle, the deep tendon, the deep ligament, and I can stimulate that area using the needles and then putting electricity over it. Oh, you I put am. electricity. Yeah. So, so acupuncture is, like you said, for other, for various other things, and it's kind of more physiological. Huh? Yeah, physiological. More it's, on the skin. Yeah. yeah. But this goes deeper. Oh, this I reach the Dry needling goes. I reach the bone. The I, bone. So the research I did was for us. Uh, you actually doing needling. it here? Yeah, I do it. We, I, I'm so You excited. offer we all. And we also oh, offer. Uh, we nice. are also part of a uh, partnership with the Dry Needling Institute of US, and they do their classes here with us. So all the Houston classes are being held at Stafford and KBW. So. Um, in what therapy do we use dry needling? Is it just Everything. pain, pain for um, injury rehab? Everything. So if you have like, uh, for example, you have a tear, right? A tear in the muscle. You don't want to go to surgery. You can come to me. I can make sure the tear is uh, strengthened and the recovery is enhanced using dry needling because I can put the needles around the tear and stimulate it. So wow. that's what we do. Like arthritis, I, we can even generate the cartilage and there's research. I'm not talking about You can generate the cartilage. I have generated the cartilage and I can postpone the surgery. For arthritis. Yeah, so you don't have to go a TK if you don't want to, you can opt for this. And we do that here. here. I, do, I do it here. I did the research complete last year when I was doing my fellowship. Wow. Yeah. So it's brand new thing. It's so good for athletes, it's faster recovery. So one and even for cervical headaches. If you have migraines, you have headaches, you can come. I put the needles around the skull, pain is instantly gone. And I've done it for myself. I have headaches issue. When every time I get a headache, I just get four needles and I'm sorted. It's new thing. Yeah, it's something new. I had no idea. We yeah. were here. I was coming here to talk about uh, injury, uh, post-surgery injury, um, yeah. back pains, body pains, paramedic rehab. But I just got to learn about dry needling. So it's just called it's called dry needling. It's called dry needling. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of. I think most of the cutting edge clinics, everybody's doing. It. Everybody's really uh, running to get certified. It's quite a certification. You have to do a three-day course over two weeks, two times and then you get certification in that. So it's not just like, I wouldn't prefer having it done by someone who's not certified. Yeah, who's not certified. Ha, so and these are not superficial that. needles, they're actually needles they that go needles. into the bone. Wow. I have even this neat needles if I need to go on the hip. Yeah. Really? You know, patient size is a difference, so you have to hit the bone. Um, and if I can trust anybody in Houston for therapy, for rehab, for pain management, I would trust Mania. And she's a clinical director at Therapeutic Rehab, and we've got three locations. One that I love here. I love the colors. I love the the aqua room. I just love the facility, uh, the windows. It's beautiful. Thank you, Sanjay. And you have been so gracious. And you have a uh, lead therapist here, Kajal. So we speak Hindi, Manya, and your therapist. We, we speak Hindi. Speak Hindi, English. We understand Gujarati for uh, sure. Thori thori. If US is very good, if US is very good, then we have Gujarati to speak. That. And we have all sort of uh, therapists and clinicians coming from different backgrounds to serve all kinds of backgrounds. Yeah, but especially for our, our especially community. for our community. Yes, we got so many people, especially the one location right here, and in KT, we got so many people living around here within three mile radius. We got such a huge community of South Asians, Indo Americans, uh, and it would be very comfortable for them, mm -hmm. especially seniors. Especially you seniors. know, seniors, seniors that are. We want someone to be able to understand because they go to a doctor. 
I mean, so many times I have seen patients who come and then they're like, you know, I couldn't tell that to my doctor because I couldn't explain. Yeah. And we give them time also. Not your fifteen minute visits doesn't do anything. We just sit them with an hour, complete evaluation, talk to them, what are their functional limitations, what are the problems they face, and then we go with it. But that is the first barrier. Okay, so this is my needle box. This is my prized position. <laughs> So needle is uh, something we do it with great hygiene. So we wear gloves, we use sanitary wipes to clean up the area. Skin is prepared, and then these are the needles which I'll show you. So these come in every uh, size and shape and thickness depending the area. So if I'm using the it for the face, somebody who has a facial palsy, Bell's palsy, so then I use the small ones, right? If I'm going on their back, obviously I would need bigger needles. So these are the needles for the back. Wow. So See. yeah. So these are like one of my biggest needles. I'll show you. And these how are the deep? Brands, really how deep? Now, difference between this and this is the thickness. So again, yeah, you have to figure out what's the right, what's the right needle to size. I need a thicker needle so it can go through the skin, through those facial muscles, and reach the area which I want to put. Uh, put the how deep on. would this needle so this would, go? Depending like, where I need to go. You would actually go. I would go. Yeah. Wow. So we do a whole study with cadavers that I've done three-day course with real bodies to see how far I'm going with every needle. So this is not I'm going randomly. There are assignments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is anatomy behind it. There is physiology. There is a lot of studies behind it before we put a needle inside. These are a lot of needles. And uh, yeah, these different are, sizes. And different. I can actually show you just how. So every needle is separately packed. So this is there is no choice of reusing a needle. Mm. We use once and we throw it. We nice. Never yeah. reuse it. So when I open it, this is also sterilized, and then we break open, and this is the end. Oh, I see. It's very fine, and they don't hurt. I mean, obviously you will get a pinching pain when you pinch it, but then they are not that big. Pull them in. Do you have to do you have to apply any numbing cream before you? No, you don't need it. We can. The patient is very terrified, but these don't hurt that much. I see. Actually, less than a mosquito bite. Oh, yeah. Okay, so almost very like yeah, like maybe if I'm like doing this. That's, that's it. Yeah, and every patient has their own threshold. Some patients don't feel it at all. Some patients obviously are guarded. Yeah, so different thresholds. So I don't go and put all the needles at once. Maybe I'll start with two needles first day. Let them sink into it. Let them adjust to it, and then I can use it. Dry needle therapy. Yeah. So this is dry needle. The wet needle is where you put a uh, any medication with the needle. That is called wet needle. And dry needle means I'm not using any medication. I'm just, you're just as using needle. the needles as yeah. they are. So what you're trying to do with the needles is you're trying to stimulate the area. You're trying to go yeah. down to that area. Reduce, improve the collagen, and then wind them up. And the collagen is all around the needles, and I put electricity. And then the healing. How do you put electricity on the needles? So these, these are my tiny. I put them around the needles. On the top of the, on the head of the needle. On the head of the needle. That's I the see. I connect it, and this is the constant five basic current which I use. Do you always have to use electricity, or some needles just good enough to stimulate? Yeah, we can do the collagen. Needle needles too. I don't, I don't use it if it's not a chronic condition. So if you come with a spasm, right? And you can get all those massages. Nothing will happen. Yeah. If I put a needle in there and twist it, remove it, that spasm is gone. Because instantly, I'm at, the, I'm, at the, I'm at the motor point, wow. and I'm it's actually releasing the stung from the motor point. So when you come to the physiology, how the spasm occurs, I'm just right there, putting a needle there just to relieve it. So there is an acetylcholine that releases it too much, and then you just instantly the spasm. You're gone. talking about rebuilding a cartilage, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. the idea is that you are stimulating that area mm -hmm. so that it can start rebuilding. Right. So the reason why cartilage that is uh, not there in old patients is because you don't have enough blood supply in your knee, mm. right? So obviously after when once at 30, 35, 40, then that blood supply starts reducing and you don't have enough nutrition and the cartilage begins to die. If you can give that, the cartilage will regenerate. Everything in the body regenerates till you provide us enough nourishment. So that is the key. So once so this is on the cartilage poking in, and then we run the electricity that brings in the blood circulation, brings in the nutrition, and it generates, it reduces the pain, reduces inflammation, and obviously the knee arthritis, the main cause is result. Wow. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people have, so one day, mm -hmm. this can, this could maybe uh, stop the knee, that, that one day you'll stop the knee replacement surgery, one day the idea is, 
And and if you have bone deformities, obviously then you have to get a yeah. surgery done. But at least if you be able to push off, just because of pain, you don't need to get a TK. Maybe for other conditions you can, or if you have other issues. So you were saying this can be Delay used for the... chronic, chronic migraines, chronic headaches, mm -hmm. back pains, shoulder muscle issues. spasms, shoulder issues, yeah. um, knee, ankle. Okay. Sports injuries. Sports injuries. See, Lord, so this injuries. really is a breakthrough. So like a grade for one ACL surgery. tears yeah. and grade one, you don't need to get surgery. You can get, and there's enough research. People have done it, and they have been able to go back to the sports in the next few days. Wounds, wounds, the closure. There's so much, so much out there for this. Wow. Yeah. Do I need therapy in Mania? And you're certified. You, Me, you, Kajal, you have to get. Both you both are certified. You gotta get a certification, and, and, and that's when you get this box. Yeah. You get this box. You don't get a you don't get a certificate in the mail. You get this box in the mail. Say boom. <laughs> this is your certification. Sure, sure. And so you've used this on patients here at Theramedic. You've started to use this. Yeah, I've been therapy. using it since last year. Since last year, what? one year I've been doing it on my patients, and this is great result. This is uh, generally most of the insurances don't cover it, so we do charge separately. But I tell you, it's much, much, much less than you pay what if for your steroid injections or your. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.